Good day everyone and welcome to my trading series entitled Understanding EMV. This video is an introduction to the training course. So let's have a look at what the purpose is of this training. Firstly, it's just to spread the word about EMV. Okay? It's not meant to be a comprehensive training course on EMV. It is simply meant to lay down the foundations of current EMV so that you will be empowered to understand the gaps in your knowledge going forward and to focus on obtaining that knowledge in order to close those gaps. A word to the wise, EMV loves acronyms. So as we delve deeper and deeper into this course, you are going to find that you, you will be exposed to and, and, and become familiar with many acronyms. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry about too much. You don't need to learn all of them off part. As, as you work with EMV, as you work in EMV, you will find that these acronyms will slowly start to become second nature to you. EMV can also be very complex or very complicated to many people. So this course will cover many technical aspects, but please don't, don't stress about it too much. Okay? We'll try to break down these complex concepts to make it as simple as possible for you to understand. At the end of this training series, in, in the conclusion video, I will explain to you how to find more detailed technical documentation to assist you on your journey in EMV. So, who will benefit from this course? Well, basically anyone working or looking to work in the payment card industry. This training course covers basics that are not actually part of EMV itself, uh, but the purpose of this is, is so that people new to the card industry will be able to have a good foundation in this field. Right? So you will find that the first four videos including this video, actually don't touch on EMV directly. Uh, it, it sets the context and the background for the various processes and terminology specific to CARD, uh, which, which forms the basis on which EMV is built on. Uh, depending on your role in your organization, you know, you, you may require more or less technical understanding than someone else, also in EMV, but fulfilling a different role. So please feel free, use whatever is relevant to your role, uh, you know, if, if, if you are getting bored or if some of the concepts are, are techni technically complex and you don't really need to have an in-depth understanding, you know, feel, feel free to skip through those. My, my recommendation though is for you to go through the entire course as it will give you a, a, a broad, holistic uh, her understanding of EMV as well as touching on some of the the, the, the low-level technical aspects that I believe are important to, to both to CARD and to EMV. So let's talk a bit about, about the course structure itself. So firstly, we are looking at a course introduction, and this is the video that, that you are currently viewing. Uh, in the next video, or the next set of videos, we will look at card terminology and basics. Just remember, these are not specific to EMV. Okay, these are focused on basic terminology of card, and it's meant for people brand new to the industry to be able to, you know, learn these concepts, learn these processes, uh, and apply them uh, and, and understand them. Because we will be referencing these as as we discuss the more uh, detailed EMV concepts that that lie on top of this. Uh, then we move on to introduction to EMV. So why do we have EMV? Why was EMV introduced? Who introduced EMV? And what does EMV look like in today's world? We then jump into the slightly more in-depth and complex components of EMV. We look at EMV issuing, and this will touch on all of the EMV tags and parameters and counters that, that are personalized onto a card and that need to reside on the various card systems. Once you're done with EMV issuing, we'll then move into EMV acquiring. And this is all the EMV stuff that goes onto a terminal and it goes onto the associated systems that allow the terminal to function, right? Uh, and in, in this section, we will also take a very close look at, at, at an EMV transaction. Then we'll move over to EMV lifecycle management. 
and, and in life cycle management, we'll touch on some core concepts around PIN and PIN management. We'll have a look at scripts, issuer scripting, uh, and we'll have a quick discussion around record keeping in, in the EMV world. Section seven is around EMV hex and binary. And in this section, we will try to understand not only the importance of hex and binary in, in EMV, but we'll try to get familiar with how it is applied in EMV and you know, hopefully get you comfortable with being able to do conversions between, you know, from hex to binary and vice versa. Okay. Finally, we'll have the conclusion uh, to this training series. Uh, and and in in this in this section, I will try to explain to you how you can obtain more EMV knowledge in order for you to further increase your EMV, your EMV understanding. One point that, that I'd like to make right now is that in this series, we are going to focus specifically on, on EMV uh, using the contact interface. Okay, so, so not contact as a tap and go, uh, the contact interface is where we insert the card into the terminal or we dip it. Uh, hopefully, there will be a future training series that will cover contactless payments. Okay, so who am I to be doing this course for you? So let's talk about, uh, about what my EMV credentials are. Uh, very briefly, my name is Bilal Norat. That is an accurate picture of me as I looked probably, probably around five years ago. Uh, uh, Times have changed. Obviously, I've I've gotten older, grayer. I won't say wiser, uh, but I think this this is probably the best picture that I could put up. So I've got 16 years of EMV experience as of this year, 2022, uh, and in those 16 years, I've 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 I've, I've held various roles within the EMV world. Uh, I've I've done quality assurance or testing on both EMV cards and terminals. And let's say terminals, I'm talking about EMV capable POS machines and EMV capable ATM machines. I've been heavily involved in EMV certifications for cards. So, you know, before an issuer, before a bank can issue cards to markets, these cards have to be certified by the relevant card scheme. Uh, it's a very technical function, uh, and I've, I've, I've done this for many years, specifically with MasterCard and Visa. I've done a similar certification process on EMV terminals, and this is with MasterCard, Visa, and Discovery. So basically, before we launch a new device type to market or a new software or a new kernel type, uh, these devices need to be certified with the card schemes uh, and once again a technical function and I have many many years of doing this as well. Uh, I I headed up a team that did EMV enrichment and personalization uh, and this was specifically around MasterCard and Visa cards so I managed the team but I was personally involved with actually creating the EMV profiles. Uh, you know these are the parameters that were programmed onto the card uh, to affect the desired behavior that business wanted the card to produce in line with their, with their business or with their product, no, product requirements. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've given training for close on 15 years now. Okay, uh, and the training that I initially gave was, you know, informal one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, you know, quick chats, quick discussions, or, or you know, drawing, uh, trying to simplify concepts on the whiteboard. And this gradually evolved over the years to a more formal setup uh, where I produced training material uh, for many years. I, I conducted training, uh, you know, for several organizations. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about formal training settings where, where the training group ranged anything from, you know, from four people to two groups exceeding 20 people. Okay. And these are, these were three day training courses where people were booked out for three full days with myself in the room and we had a workshop and, you know, we just spent three days just talking and discussing and having good debates around EMB. 
Okay. Uh, and, you know, hopefully I'm, uh, it is a bit of a challenge, but I am trying to bring that sort of experience into this, this training series. Uh, the challenge is that I don't have the energy, the direct contact with people to feed off, uh, but I'm, I'm going to try my best to try to make these training videos as engaging as possible. Uh, and so over and above all of that, I've, I've also been an EAV consultant for many years. I currently am in an EAV consulting role as well. And what this means is I consult into the teams that conduct all of the activities that I've discussed already. Uh, so I assist the people actually doing the work when necessary. And over and above this, I also get involved with, with fraud investigations, you know, where we need uh, in-depth analysis of, of, of things that have happened in a transaction by reading the EMV data. Okay, that's, that's all about me. So let's move on to the next slide. So a few points that we should note. Uh, during this training series, we will focus primarily on the MasterCard and Visa specifications. Uh, that, that those are the, uh, those two card schemes are my area of expertise. We will touch a bit on Dynas and Amex, but not in such a detail as, as we will on MasterCard and Visa. Okay. Uh, the way we will conduct this training is that we are going to start with easy concepts uh, and you know, repeat these easy concepts and gradually build, gradually repeat on these so that, you know, we sort of have an unconscious learning process where we become familiar with the concepts and then we we start to, to build, up, up, you know, upon this basic understanding. So it, 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 this understanding has to grow from a, from simple to in-depth understanding. Wouldn't love try to remember what I said, that this is not meant to be a comprehensive training course. Uh, it's uh, there are some very technical aspects that, that will require self-study or self-investigation. Okay. So this, as I've mentioned before, uh, you know, this, this training course has been a work in progress for 16 years now. Right? And what we found is that uh, many people battle to understand the way EMV is positioned in the EMV co-manuals or in the MasterCard visa or or the other uh, card scheme technical specifications. Right? The, the, the language is very technical, the concepts are very technical. And so what I've attempted to do is to take those technical specifications uh, and you know sort of try to explain them in as in, in as simple English as I can. Uh, uh, I have found that over the years, my, my training has been successful where people have been able to, 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 to grasp these concepts fairly quickly. Uh, so, so the language is effective. Uh, and I hope uh, that this comes through as well on these, on these training videos. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this video. It, it brings us to the end of the introduction component of this training course. And I look forward to catching you guys in the next video.